Welcome back to WVU Football Going Deep. Please like, subscribe, and comment. It all helps. Now look at the offense. It's no secret that the running back room is fully loaded. And a lot of the media has taken that one fact, ignored pretty much everything else, and declared that West Virginia will be run heavy. Even pound and ground. Well, I don't think so. Because there are other facts. That starts with those running backs are pretty dang good receivers. Donaldson started as a receiver. I think there's going to be a lot of you know, swing passes, wheel routes, any way of getting the ball in the hands of those backs, but not necessarily a handoff. And just because the coaches have said that they're going to use two back sets, that doesn't mean run heavy. It's just not all that logical. And then you consider that uh, when Malinger comes back, there will be 10 scholarship receivers on the roster, plus at least two walk-ons who will be pushing for consideration, if not playing time, possibility of scholarships in the future. You don't put that kind of emphasis on receivers if you're just going to run the ball all the time. I would be surprised if it's more than 55% run on the season. Some games will be higher, some lower. Meanwhile, they've also added some fullback H-back types. And that certainly makes it sounds like <laughs> make it makes it sound like they're going to be running the football. But then we go back to those guys are also good receivers. So what is going on with the running game? Well, I think a lot of the running game, they're going to be looking for those nice long slashing runs where you pick up 10, 15, 60 yards on a pop. But last season, WVU was nowhere good enough in short yardage situations. Way too many times, third and one, fourth and a half a yard, they got stuffed. Got their butts kicked back a yard some of the time. And you can't have that. Even when everybody watching knows you're going to run the football, you got to be able to run the football. And having a nice big fullback as a lead blocker is still one of the best ways to pick up that extra yard. A lot of teams have forgotten it. Some have remembered it. Now WVU has remembered it. Of course they've had a lot of other spots to fill so it's not as if they didn't want to do this before. It's just that you can only add so many players at a time. Now also the other problem with the running game has been for the last two or three years at least that they run well against some teams, even most teams, but not against the best teams. Well you can have a winning season that way, but you can't have a championship season unless you can run the ball against everybody. Now they're going to be able to go into a wider variety of sets depending on what the other team has against them. If they need that extra power, they can get it. But they're going to have the ability to go in a nice big jumbo set or a super jumbo set and throw the ball. And I know they're going to do it. They're going to do it more than once this season. And the kicker to that is, now the other team doesn't know 
you're going to run the ball on third and one. They can't sell out. If they do, have a nice little RPO call, pop the ball off to somebody slipping out of the backfield or that nice big tight end, let him make a one-handed catch and scoot on down the field. So the running game is going to be important. The running backs are going to be very important. But a lot of their running is going to be after they catch a pass. And the receivers are not there just to block for the running backs. Although I do hope the, this group of guys will do a better job of blocking than last year's group did. It was not one of their better qualities. And I think they will. So it's going to be an interesting season. Chad Scott, some of the players on the offense, have said that the offense is going to be fast and explosive. Scott has referred to it as crafty. I like Chad Scott. I trust him. The players do too. A lot of the fans do. And I think a lot more of them should be trusting him. I think it's going to be an exciting season. I do not think it's going to be a run-heavy season. I think we're going to be seeing games with 200 yards a game on the ground. Not so much because they run it... Uh, 30 times, but because they run it for large chunks at a time, including Garrett Green. I don't think he'll get a lot of called runs, but there will be the RPOs, and there will be the times when the end either cuts in too tight, goes out too wide, and there's a lot of green field open. And green is going to go for the green. I'm looking forward to it. Well now, please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. I'll be back to do more videos on WVU football going deep.